Well, hello there and greetings. Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to take a look at getting your Dropbox API key. And we're going to do that from Dropbox and it's free to do it. So you just head over to Dropbox forward slash developers. I'm on the Dropbox forward slash developers forward slash apps page. And if you are on the developers website, you should see an app console button that you just click to log in. And from here you can create your own apps. Only takes about a minute to do it. And then you can generate your own access key. So what I want to do, I want to walk through the steps carefully so that that access token is going to be valid when you use it in your app. So from the top here, we're going to choose create app. So I'm giving that a click. And then choose an API. We just select, select the first option. There is only one option at the moment to select. Number two, choose the type of access you need. For this one, it's really important we choose app folder. And this way, your other data on your Dropbox is protected. You never want one app to, to be able to access the full Dropbox in most cases. Then we can give it an app name. Now this can be any name. So I'm just going to call it my custom app. But you can basically give this name for your own reference. If you are setting it for a particular website, you might want to use the website name for your app name. So I'm going to go ahead and click create app. And I'm just getting alert here. The app name is already taken. We'll go with real video guy. I'm going to go ahead and create app. And now it's created an app. Now before we generate our access token, and this is kind of important with Dropbox, I've found out, we want to first set our permissions. So I'm going to click on the permissions tab here. We're going to go down and we want to activate file and folders and collaboration. So let's just go and tick these boxes. And down here, collaboration, we want to be able to access the files in our app folder. Once you've done that, just go ahead down the bottom. We've got submit to save changes. And we can see permissions change successful. And now we go ahead to back to the settings and we're going to get our access token. So scrolling down here, we don't need the app key or the secret. We don't need to fill in any of this. Before we click generate, let's go ahead to access token expiration. We're going to change this to no expiration and then just wait a second. You get a little alert. It's been done. And then we click generate to get our access token. So here's our access token. Just go ahead and copy that and going back into WP video streamer. We can go here. I'm on the settings page. We've got WP video streamer and here under Dropbox, we can just paste in the key there. We'll click to save changes and now everything should be fine. So if you go back to your files, you can go ahead and test by dragging in a video file. So I've just got an MP4 file. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in. And it's uploading it directly to my Dropbox. So even though it looks like we're in WordPress admin, which we are, we're not uploading it to our own site. It's going directly from the browser to our Dropbox. And once it's complete, it should show up down here. There it is. There's our video file. And to get our stream, we just go to the link and we click to get link. And here's our video stream link which we can use in any MP4 video player or even in direct HTML code.